Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about the issue where we don't see a dial pad in MS Teams. So for us to have a dial pad in MS Teams we basically require a set of licenses to be assigned to that particular account. So uh, the licenses which we required are basically the basic MS Teams license assigned to an account and uh, additionally you will need phone system license plus either of domestic calling plans or international calling plans once you have these three licenses assigned to an account you should be able to see a dial pad in MS Teams but sometimes what happens is even even though you have this licenses assigned to a particular account you will still not see the dial pad so uh, in this case even if you go ahead and toggle the licenses to this account and wish for it to provision on the account itself it does not provision it so uh, basically there is one parameter which is responsible for provisioning of the dial pad and the calling features in MS team for a certain account so if you have three licenses which I mentioned so basically the command which we will use in order to toggle the enterprise voice enable parameter uh, is here so uh, this is basically a set CS user command uh, which works on teams and Skype uh, it is pretty simple you can see it here itself set CS user hyphen identity and then followed by the email address of the user account who is facing the issue with provisioning of the dial pad and then enterprise voice enable so uh, it would be true uh, once you assign the three licenses uh, it gets turned on already once we assign the license to it um, so uh, as it is turned on we will uh, turn it off so the command is Similar, we will just have to change the dollar true to dollar false. So the first command which we will run is this one, followed by this one. So and uh, these command which you see here, it, these are the command basically used to connect to Skype for Business or Teams Admin Center itself. So uh, let me just show you how to do it. So we'll open PowerShell and run it as an administrator. give the required permissions and here it is so uh, we'll copy each one of them one by one so uh, it was already installed on my computer so we don't see much of an action there after running the first command and this is the second command which should ask for the credentials and then you can enter the credentials here followed by the password once done um, you can run this command you can run this command And then uh, let's run the last command. Here it is. And it will start to connect. And it is now connected to Teams Admin Center. So we will just run this command. We'll replace it with the email address of the user.
run the command as you can see in this following manner the first command should be ending with dollar false and the second one should be ending with dollar true this will basically toggle that parameter and will restart the provisioning process and uh, soon after 30 minutes or 40 minutes from now after running the command you should be able to see the teams dial pad option in ms teams calling tab so do let me know guys how it goes for you if you have any doubt question please drop it in the comment section and i will reply to it as well and please do subscribe to this channel as well till then you have a nice day bye bye take care